So just recognize that's a tool at your disposal for a puppy or a dog that is comfortable with the harness and has learned that it's okay to pull on the harness for recall drills and stuff like that as a way of potentially improving a little bit of performance in terms of their effort in luring and things like that. Right? And then you can actually tease the dog a little. I can hold the puppy and go swing it side to side. So here, I'll, I'll do it for you. Hold, I'll show you what. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right? So I take that and I move it around like, oh, you want that, don't you? And I make them chase it and at the last second I go, oh, denied, and I go the other way. Exactly the same thing I do with the toy, right? Only I've got a piece of food in my hand. And so for dogs with a lot of play, I can turn that into a game too. And the dog's like, okay, just the food doesn't mean that much to me, I'm not that hungry. But as soon as I make a game out of it, then they do more. So there's a variety of these little kind of manipulations. That's one of the dynamic techniques. We're going to do the same thing with toys on Friday, where I'll hold the dog back, and I put a toy on a string, and I whip it back and forth like that. And the puppy wants to get it, and all of a sudden I let him grab it. And all that frustration means they really grab the toy. And it's one of the ways in which we motivate dogs to play more vigorously. And it's possible, also, to do it with food.